Hey Aries, welcome to your general weekly reading for no November. Ooh. I can't believe we're in November, by the way, like honestly. But anyway, it's for November 1st through the 7th. For anyone with Aries in their chart, cross watchers, you're more than welcome to hang out with us. Um, just keep in mind that the energies can show up reversed for you. Okay. So this week, you guys are coming in as Pisces energy, the hangman, okay, with the challenge of the magician. Really interesting because two major arcanas right away, okay, um, a very powerful way to start off this month, okay. You're feeling indecisive about something. You may need to view a situation from a, dirt, a certain, I can't speak, I'm really sorry, from a certain different perspective, okay, because... You have way more power than you realize, okay? So, let's see. Clarifying this hangman we have going on. We have the Six of Swords, the Page of Wands, and the Ace of Wands. You are being called, okay, <laughs> to go towards something else. And you don't want to leave something behind, okay? The Page of Wands, I see you. Um, you're kind of looking elsewhere, okay? It's like your spirit's one way and something else has your attention, okay? But there is energy here for a passionate, passionate new beginning. And I think you know that. I just think that maybe you don't know the deeper purpose, right? That how transformative this can be, okay? Especially in Scorpio season here, okay? Let me clarify this hangman. The Hermit in the reverse, Virgo energy, Page of Pentacles in the reverse, and the Queen of Wands. Okay. You are moving into a new chapter. Absolutely. Okay. You can, I very much feel like um, clearing out energy. Okay. Um, you might be going to a new job, leaving a relationship. Okay. There's something I feel where it's, we're transitioning. Okay. And you kind of have this mindset of, it's just very distracted something's very shiny okay the queen of wands is um showing up representing your ego right now okay so impulse control okay you don't know enough about a situation that you may be trying to manifest okay that you're having a hard time letting go of especially with the hermit in the reverse here with these cards okay you're not listening to your intuition you do have the power to make a situation what you want it to be okay but you need to allow yourself to learn more instead of acting on such an impulse okay and i see that being a challenge for you not you're showing up in the six of swords energy i feel like yeah you're ready to run but there's something else you have to learn first okay going on around you interesting judgment in the reverse you could be dealing with a fixed sign, okay? Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, or a Leo, okay? Or this may be, okay, why your challenge is the Magician card, okay? And why you are showing up as the hangman. There may be a situation that you're looking at, okay, that you feel you need to move away from, is not for you, okay? And that may be true, but like I said, with this page of pentacles in the reverse, this is telling me there's a lesson here, okay? There's something you can learn, used to your advantage. Nine of wands in the reverse, six of pentacles in the reverse, and the lovers. Hmm. A lesson in love, a lesson for your soul, absolutely, Okay about when to let go, about when to move on, about how much energy, time, love you pour into a certain situation, okay? And it's, uh, this could be talking about something very specific, right? A relationship, for example, that you're dealing with right now, okay? But this is showing up as a cycle, okay? As it often does, but it's meant to be cleared out now. The time is now to clear it, okay? The time is now where you can see it pretty clear, all right? Or you feel it, right, intuitively, that you're putting too much into something that is not flowing. There's no longer flowing, okay? You could be dealing with a Gemini as well. It's time to know what you're fighting for, right? In your past, we have the Six of Wands. So this is setting out, feeling like you're on the right path, okay? You want victory. You want to be recognized, okay? This could be you starting your own business as well. 
uh, wow, the Wheel of Fortune and the Three of Wands just flew out. It was amazing. It made you feel amazing. It put you on this new path, okay? Um, maybe even made you feel like you were taking a step closer to your goal, okay? People may have recognized this also, right? The Six of Wands is also um, a card of being recognized, being seen, being congratulated for your effort, right? Because we're accomplishing something. We have victory, okay? This could have been anything. Ooh, what wants to come out? Knight of Wands, something you were really passionate about. That's why you were able to succeed, okay? I feel like it came from this level of you were still learning about it, but you knew you had to go towards it intuitively, but you were also open-minded that you didn't know everything or you didn't know how the road would look, right? You were just on this path of, I know this is for me, okay? Especially with the Wheel of Fortune here, that's destiny, okay? That was your soul. That is a strong lesson to rely on here, okay? Whatever that means for you, whatever was happening in that time for you in the past, okay? Because you were very balanced, right? You weren't giving in to impulses. You were allowing things to come naturally and you were being rewarded for that by the universe. Your strength position is the eight of cups in the reverse, okay? This is definition for going back to something that once walked away from you, you once walked away from. Okay, left you feeling hopeless, alone, separated, right? Here's judgment again. Yeah. So your focus, whatever it is that you're focused on, okay? Whatever situation you're seeing, this is exactly what we're talking about. And it can absolutely be um, in a romantic relationship or the way you know love, okay? Strength is here as well. Leo energy and the four of cups. Something here happened in the past that made you feel like nothing would ever be as special, as important. There's a second chance, okay? If you can manage to not go off your triggers, okay? And your fears and your past experiences and truly approach the situation from an observation point of view, okay? You're showing up in the hangman because you need a new perspective, that bird's eye view, okay, Aries? The Four of Cups is saying, this is being offered to you right now, okay? But you you have to want to take it, okay? Um, it doesn't seem like it's anything, okay? But it can bring so much clarity and give you, I don't know, I'm kind of just getting the kick in the butt that you need to move on, to let go. There's something, there's attachment going on here, okay? And it's a time for you to go within and look at this situation and say, what was it that I was so drawn to about this, okay? And learn from it. What did you learn about yourself? What did you learn that you need? What did you learn that you didn't like about yourself, okay? These are the questions you have to be willing to ask yourself, but you have to be able to maintain this inner calm, okay? You can't get angry, right? There's going to be triggers. You're going to remember how these emotions felt, right? Or when you're looking at the situation, you're going to remember how certain things felt when somebody said something, when somebody did something. Especially when we're talking about darkness that we're trying to let go of, okay? But your strength position is that you have the strength to look at this, okay? And learn. Which is really interesting because the Page of Pentacles in the reverse came out earlier. And here it is, again, going forward, okay? Still feeling confused. What is it? Um, or trying to maybe not to even look at it. We have the Seven of Cups in the reverse, the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Hmm. Ten of Pentacles. There was a situation here. It's painful to look at for you because you're aware that something was an illusion. Okay. And you thought it was everything, right? Ten of Pentacles is the complete full ideal happiness okay more than love more than a relationship it's abundance it's stability friendship family okay success oh but there's guilt shame almost an energy of not knowing your truth truly because we don't know not because we're burying it we just haven't learned yet okay but the seven of cups in the reverse is telling me you're not blind, okay? You're not completely in the dark here. It's just really painful to let go or maybe admit, okay? There might be a lot of guilt or shame that 
you once thought this situation would be your everything, okay? Be kind to yourself. Going forward, we have the Nine of Pentacles. Interesting. Pre-Empress energy here. Dedicating ourselves. Dedicating, dedicating, okay, to success. We're going to align ourselves, okay? That's your advice. The Nine of Pentacles is um, a single energy, okay? Because she's, again, devoted to herself, right? The Emperor. She knows her power, okay? Um, this is your energy, Aries. This is knowing the lessons that you've learned, okay? Knowing you have the wisdom to go forward, to, that you can create what it is that you want. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Not allowing yourself to live in a victim mindset anymore. Not allowing yourself to be handed a list of rules, right? A list of um, circumstances and just accepting that face value, okay? We're ripping off the blindfold here. The five of cups in the reverse and we're healing from pain, okay? You're going to need to look at something from a very honest perspective, okay? And again, just that bird's eye view with that hangman is coming in, okay? But you've learned so much that's going to set you up for success. This wasn't a failure. This wasn't a stall, okay? You just need to take the lesson and move on. It's become a tool that has been able to teach you and guide you to help get you to this new chapter. You wouldn't be ready for this next step to evolve, okay? On a soul level, had you not gone through this, okay? Temperance in reverse just popped out here, okay? So... We're feeling impatient, right? We're questioning the purpose of it. There's divine timing, all right? There is a lot of divine timing at play. Just be mindful, okay? The four of wands in the reverse, it did come out, okay? Something wasn't meant for you. It wasn't meant for you to settle. You are meant to push forward, okay? Keep going. It's bigger. It's better. It's something you can't truly comprehend yet with this page of pentacles in the reverse. You've never experienced okay? Or seen somebody live the type of Ten of Pentacles that your soul identifies with, okay? That's why it feels confusing because it, there's little things that you resonate with, right? Which is why we can get caught up in the impulsive energy, right? Of wanting to jump into something that feels good or that ignites us or it seems really special because it's so rare that we feel like we experience that anyway, okay? But you're not meant to settle for a little peak, okay? There is a life that you can create for yourself, okay? Where it's the whole package. You don't have to settle, okay? What you don't see coming, Empress in the reverse, okay? Cancer, Libra energy, Knight of Pentacles. So you need to still learn, okay? You're having a hard time, right? And this, I see this coming and coming and coming, okay? As you're learning that you're going to have to be compassionate about yourself, you're going to have to be mindful about your energy and where it's going, okay? Because I'm sensing a big, um, we talked about it earlier, that six of pentacles, an equal give and take of how much we put in a situation, okay? That's still going to be a uh, part of the cycle that you're learning about how much you can give and how much you need to give to yourself, okay? The sun in the reverse, you're learning what makes you happy. You're learning why you've been unhappy for so long, okay? The Page of Cups in the reverse. Interesting. Yeah, this all, it has to revolve around love, okay? Really examine your relationships. It could tell you a lot about yourself. And I did your bonus shadow work video for this cycle, so you guys can find that in your playlist if you want deeper uh, on that, okay? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. There is a beginning being blocked until you learn this lesson, okay? It's very important. Otherwise, we're building the same broken home on the same broken foundation, right? Now, a message from your soul is death. Embrace Scorpio season, my loves, okay? Allow the transformations to happen, okay? Allow what stays to stay. Allow what goes to go, right? Clarifying the death. This is all about endings, beginnings, okay? The circle of life, right? Rising from the ashes, okay? The three of cups in the reverse. Don't, your soul's yelling at you, okay? It's telling you you've been distracted from ending this cycle for a long time because it's been very painful, okay? And you didn't know how, right? The cycle felt like your reality, okay? That's why your challenge is the magician. You have the power, Aries, to manifest a completely new reality for yourself. You don't have to accept any circumstances that are just handed to you, okay? 
but you do have to do the work. Queen of Cups, come from a place of love. Fulfill, and that's also such a strong message too, right? Because the Queen of Cups, and I say this all the time, she's one of my favorite energies in the whole deck, okay? Because she flows, right? She's so full. Her cup is so full, okay? She's taking care of herself. She's thinking clear. She has clarity, okay? She's full of pure love and water, and it just overflows and becomes a source of nourishment to those around her okay aspire to do that queen of pentacles yes that's where your abundance is going to be you're going to be able to balance it all okay but you can't distract yourself right you have to devote yourself to what makes you feel stable where you're coming from a place of love okay not expectations not requirements right going forward king of wands interesting five of wands conflict lots of mental conflict you're going forward. I see you possibly not. The Knight of Cups in reverse is you maybe separating from somebody, okay? Not offering an apology or love to someone else, okay? But I see you doing a lot of shadow work. I see you working within yourself right now, trying to discover what it is that you're passionate about because you have the potential Aries. This is your energy here with the King of Wands to become an influence, okay? Not only to align yourself, but to then show others how to align okay to guide um it's a lot of success it's all about being a leader okay you're being asked to go forward but you have to be going forward okay without driving yourself nuts about some type of external love situation okay that's what trips you up I'm going to pull Divine Feminine Oracle for you and a Romance Angel Oracle for you too because there is definitely a lot of that energy happening here. The Empress of Protection, which is interesting because part of the cycle is learning about you having knowing how to be the Empress, right? Your bonus video will be out sometime by the end of the week and it's going to be the Empress, okay? For those of you doing the shadow work and following that, okay? I am safe and divinely protected. I am held in love at all times wedding the situation involves marriage okay so again for some of you you may be separating from somebody you were married to you may be preparing for your next cycle where you move into somebody that you meet your soulmate and you want to commit yourself to okay but that's what i'm seeing for you i hope it was helpful please like share subscribe comment it helps my channel so much and i will see you guys on the next one bye